Hi, John Mono here. I'm just uh, called uh, Mike Diamond from uh, Okanoni, and uh, he's working with us with the Moai Powerhouse Group and he's getting a plan for me. I thought I had him on uh, line, but um, I'll wait for him to call me back. Uh, so I'm hoping to meet him. If you see this video, uh, Mike, uh, Michael, uh, I'll be up in Firinaki to the um, meeting um, for the uh, Whakaminia, and we can run over a few things there for the uh, shares, the Moai Total Energy shares in the global um, account. Uh, there are some other elements I'll be putting into the meeting there on the presentation. That includes the Gold Trust Fund and the Queen Victoria Trust. I'll be going over that to put into uh, our um, orders in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court, Native Court, that is, uh, setting up I'll have a plan for that when I come up there, and then from that we'll be, I'll go to uh, Mataku or Marae, Whakatane, and um, put on a presentation there as well uh, in mid-December, and Jim week or two, he's, he's going down with me tomorrow to Ruatori, I'll pick him up in Apodiki, I go and see Jamie, um, Anna Marie, Patrick, Whakatane, she'll be working with me, oh, she's been with me for over five years, going on six years now, uh, in this tidal energy project, so she's very much part of what I'm doing as a private secretary at this stage in that company here in New Zealand, and Jackie Little Gordon in Scotland, and Matt Taylor in Brighton, England, working on that end, and I'll be working operating the business from London. My powerhouse group limited limited company that's registered there and also the Natue Ewa Aotea Limited Company registered here. Uh, this company has one of a trillion shares in New Zealand registered and the uh, British company in London has got one of a billion shares, one billion shares, sorry. Uh, and 1 billion shares allocated to 250 countries each. So we're splitting up the Queen Victoria Trust that belongs to us, the beneficiaries of that trust, and I'm putting petitions together in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court to oust Queen Elizabeth II as the head trustee of Queen Victoria Trust, and we're putting it back into the King William Maui Crown, King William the Fourth Trust. Okay, we're putting it back with that memorial. It's standing in the Queen Elizabeth Great Court in London, London, the Maui statue. You can see now it's becoming prominent in its earthly spirit title to the world in that matter. So Napui and the Whakameninga tribes <coughs> are claiming Moai. Okay, you get that? That's their title to the mana whenua of where it stands anywhere in the world. And all the business side is in that marae, the Waitangi marae, on the treaty grounds with Moai and the chief's land renters. Okay? Land rent chief, sheriff, me, and other sheriffs upcoming on the Whakamininga side of 1834. Captain Clendon, ship, fortitude, British land title straight to Britain, England, and that's where I'm going on that end to represent and to be the ambassador for New Zealand there and sheriff of the county of. Plymouth, Devon, England, in Williams Estate Land, in Devon, oh, to Devon, Port oh, here. Okay, so that's what I'm just saying to uh, Michael Diamond that 
I'm waiting for him to put a plan together for the shares globally in those 250 countries straight off the moapowerhouse.com website and show me the plan. Okay, you can pick up from there and contract to Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited and the main branch company in Britain where the British military is our partner and British Navy and Westminster Parliament Government is our partner here in New Zealand, out there and Pacific Islands and the New World Order in that eight point star. Okay, we're putting it back and we're petitioning King Ernest Augustus, current legitimate King of Britain, UK, Hanover, out there in New Zealand, Pacific Islands and East, the New World Order, King of Britain, UK. Okay? So that's our oath of office with Moai. Him and Moai is our oath of office. God's truth, law, Moai, and his head on his head, statue, it's our title, Mana Whenua, to the world for that matter. Okay, so that's what I wanted to call him about. I'll try him again with another call. Yeah, hi Michael, it's John Wano again. I thought I might get you this time, but obviously you look busy. And uh, you might not get me, I'll be on the road uh, going down to Ruatori, down uh, East Cape. Um, I'll be away for, since till Friday, with Jim Wheekorton. Uh, that's the guy that was talking there with me and did the presentation with me. So I'll be back um, in, uh, up in Furnaki on Saturday. I'm coming straight up from the East Coast, dropping off from Napotiki, and come straight up there to the meeting there. I might see you there. Um, so, busy week this week away. Um, you might get me, but chances are down the East Coast, there's no reception there to get me. So, I'm just waiting to see if you uh, knocked up something together for the share plan. And uh, if not, we'll go back over it again um, when I get up there, if you're there. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. So that's um, Michael. I thought I might get him again, but um, he seems a good sort of uh, guy. Um, so uh, we'll leave it at that. And I'm just about ready to pack up and take stuff back down the coast and catch up with uh, Jim Week or two in uh, Apodi with um, Matatu and go back over a few things, do a bit of a presentation to go down to Ruatoria and put on a, a little presentation there at the Maori Land Court hearing for the hearing at a 12 block uh, and um, uh, I'll come away knowing uh, what we're going to do there. I'm going to leave Jim in charge of um, the block and I'll cut out uh, a bit for me uh, to run the business in the meantime till March till I know the outcome of the Hiranga A10 block. So there's A10 and Hiranga A8 block that I'm interested in those two blocks for the Moai Tidal Energy Project. This is what Mike's going to pick up on, Michael, um, and uh, throw something together. He's an uh, internet security uh, man with his own business which is what we're doing with Moai, taking on um, self-employed people, encourage self-employed 
um, anybody in the, in the world to join Moai in the shares uh, and um, um, keep together as um, one group right through the world. Uh, so, uh, Michael, if you see this video, um, I'll catch up with you in Whiranaki at the Marae there. Um, Moria, Moria, Moria Marae. M O R I A, Moria Marae. And uh, that's just about 200 uh, meters or something just uh, outside of, um, well, more Australian. Um, Good enough, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, it's two Marais there, I think. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll be there and I have plenty to talk about. And Tini told me this morning, I visited him, visited him in the hospital, and I'll just text him that I, uh, I've only got time to get myself ready to go, because I was going to go back and see him again and check up on him, but he's uh, doing well, you know. He wants to be at the meeting on Saturday up in Firinaki, but um, recovery's on, on the menu at the moment to get him well again. At least he's getting a full check over and uh, like myself got nurses to check on me and my heart I got a good uh, workout this morning with the um, um, absolute physio in 16 Lambie Drive Managar City with Maggie she does the ac acupuncture very good uh, and um, um, Mike Costello, Mike, Mike Costello, he does the physio, he's pretty good, so, so my back is pretty, pretty, a bit better, and, uh, but my neck is still out, my neck and ringing ears, uh, rampant, out of order, and so they have got to work on that for a while yet, it's going to take a few weeks to do that lot, so uh, it's not right. Going through all the bones, and they can tell just to put the finger right on where there's some pain and makes me jump and just about knock me out. Uh, uh, so they know their job um, very well, and I can feel it. I'm very uh, much better. And at 86.2 kgs now, I want to get to 85. I'll be there another three months I'll be at 85 right my target weight from 97.8 kgs 12 months ago okay so that's pretty good to keep up with that um, in the meantime um, I just uh, um, let uh, Jim a week or two know in Apodigy that I'll be there about four at his place and we're going to run over the incorporations I've got all Mapiria, uh, uh, Pohipa, Mapiria, uh, all his gear here. He gave it to me to run the whole place. And so I'm taking some down to run through with the incorporations there. So anybody want to know anything about incorporations, it's all here. I've got the whole lot. I'm supposed to take it over, but I was doing echo farms and other matters. And there was uh, Mike Barrett, he was, I think Mike Barrett, um, he was running it at, the mo at that time. So it's pretty lost now, I don't know where that's gone or, or now. So that's why I pulled out and went this way, the Moai way. And it looks appealing to Ngāpui and the Whakameninga. They have got it. They have got it. And Tini's got it. They understand it. It's taken a while to... Um, get it across and it, they, it belongs to them. It belongs to all the natives in this country and the natives around the world. You own Moai. Anybody. If you claim Moai, you claim justice, freedom, peace and harmony. That's what it is. Okay? And a fair share measure of higher intelligence. It's there. You've got it in you. So I'm glad they to talk about it now it's been hidden by the crown that collected all the memorials of all the native lands and put them in the museum 
now we're pulling them out of the museum and putting them back where God said to put them on the land. And those obelisks in the Vatican, they don't belong to you white people. They belong to the black people. God said to put them over there in Africa, not in Rome or London or France or Belgium or the United States. He didn't say to put them there. You put them there. You put them there and made your pyramid and the eye in it yourself. That's, that's not God's. That's your commercial contract. That's what we're going up against here with our flag. We're using our king's flag to capture you and checkmate you. So that's what John Key's going to be checkmated on the 6th of February 2017. He's checkmated. And the Navy chief in command, John Martin, you ignored my letters. Those letters I've got with those stamps on it, the King William the Fourth stamp, and his flag, and his horse seal, and ship of Admiralty seal, those are real. You haven't got anything close to that, and you totally ignored it. The consequences of your ignorance is that you're going to have to pay everything back. And Captain Clinton, title, at Kororareka, Russell, that's our contract. That's not your contract, John Key, or you, John Martin. You have ignored our policy and our private contract. It's none of your business. It is none of your business. That's what I'm saying to Kingi and the Taumata, Kaumatu, and the Whakamini. It's none of anybody's business. What I write, how I write, and those documents, they are legal and legitimate titles. Okay, all you have to do is own them and put them to work and it will work. Okay, I've got enough on my plate with Britain and going to put our flag up there with you, the Tomata, jury and judges. Okay, you know, you know what we said. We're going to run through that again one more time before the 6th of February or 4th, 5th and 6th. We'll run over it again till you got it and then we're going to sell into the open market direct into the mainstream nothing is going to stop nothing is going to stop you it's set to go and we're going to throw the tidal turbines right in the middle of it on the east coast and anywhere in the world okay that's your call other countries to deal with that plan. Okay? But the main contract is the Whakaminia. And I told you it's Admiralty private contract. And no one can touch it. No one can touch that title. Okay? And we're going to investigate John Key's trust, the New Zealand trust. Business Roundtable, Intuition New Zealand Limited Company, Watani National Trust, the Akaroa Bank, okay, you can put that, Akaroa Bank, the Her Majesty's uh, Trust in England. We're going to investigate Queen Victoria Trust, Kingy, I told you. And all the Whakamininga up there, that's your trust. You are the beneficiaries of that trust. And you're going to put me as a head trust in London. Okay? As the head trust and ambassador to Aotea New Zealand on that end. Okay? You tell me to what to do, and I'll tell you what to do here. I go there, you stay here, and put things together in its rightful place. So we're going to Westminster with six tomata whakamininga of the surnames that can be native. Then you can have another four of non-native surname. That means a British uh, descendant. So that's six plus four, that's ten. 
elders, two judges, native judges, 11, 12, that's 12. Me, the sheriff, that's 13. Jamie, that's 14. Caesar Patrick was eight point star. Staff, okay, under my eye. And Jim Wikotu. Jim Wikotu is one of the um, judges, okay. He's a judge. There's three judges, sorry. He's a, he's a native assessor. Th the three native assessors are judges. Okay, they're the, they're the, they're the land, land court judges. Native assessors, three of them. Jim Wikotu, Manahi Tengaire, Bani Wawatai. The Taimatas are led by Ben Moringa. Okay, the Moringa surname and Kingi Taurua, that's two, plus four men. Now, Kingi, Kingi Taurua is representing, he is the direct descendant as a king in his own right to King Edwards. Kingi Edum Eva Taurua. Okay, so he is representing that Queen Victoria Trust direct. I'm representing King William IV as his surrogate, captain of the ship. Okay? And so we have live people, we have a live contract, commercial private contract flag of a king, King William IV. We have a live king in England, King Ernest Augustus V, 68 years old, and his son, Prince Regent. Ernest Augustus, 38. We have those two on that end <coughs> with the British flag, the British Navy, Brexit, the government, and us in the government. Right? The Moai Crown, King William IV Party, or Moai King William Party, and Matt Taylor, its leader. He is its leader and he is the secretary of the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company in London. At the moment, it's registered in London. Okay? So that's our setup. Now all we have to do is turn up over there after Waitangi and Jim will proclaim the flag raised to the top of that British ship next to the courthouse goes up to the top and the Union Jack, the war flag for the veterans, that's what that flag is for, at sea, comes onto the cross run with the British flag opposite. Okay, so they get to carry on governing, as far as my eyes concerned, as levy debtors. We're the creditor at the top, the King's Bench Court. You got that, Plonky? You got that? I'm putting you on notice now because our Tomata is inside that marae. We've already opened that marae for business. We've already legalised the flag. We've already legalised the 1830 to 1837 Acts of West King William Party, or King Acts of King William the Fourth Westminster Parliament. At that time, 1830 to 1837 applies. It prevails because we have not altered that contract flag. 182 years, we're celebrating our 182 years on Waitangi Day inside that marae. You've had your 75 years celebration, um, John Martin, Chief of the New Zealand Navy, New South Wales Government, in exile, and you never invited our partner the Maui Native Hapu Sovereignty People, Indigene, you never invited our partner, commercial trading partner, the British Navy here. That's how ignorant you are. Now it's their turn to sort you out. And your authority is going to be shut out 
direct to us in our contract that's not broken sovereignty. You're trying to snap your sword by putting another flag there. John Key, you got caught. You've already offended us with force for the CBA, Bill and Clark. You're getting the bill, a trillion pounds each on your head. You're getting that bill inside that marae from me, the sheriff, creditor. Okay? I've got a bill figure there online now on Facebook. Put it there, and that sticks. It sticks. I've done all the assessments, and what I say goes. When the jury makes its ruling, you fail to perform, John Key. You fail to perform. You ignore us with the TPPA contract. Now we've got a contract on your head. Straight to Britain. Now what we're going to do with the Kaumata is pass laws again inside that marae on our land. Kingy wants his land back. He's going to take his land back and he's going to sever your occupation titles, your limbs titles, your crown titles, your queen because she's not there. She is not there and they're trying to sneak in here through America and we're going to go through and sort that out with the British as well. We're going to sort it out with Brexit there and Trump in America. He's already got rid of Hillary Clinton and Obama and you're next, John Key. You're next from us. Okay, just to warn you, do not tamper anymore with our contract. You're already tampered with it enough. You're going to get the bill and your Intuition News Limited Company and all the business corporates that are inside those corporate companies in Mahu Mahu Crescent. Okay, I've got all your bills ready for John Key. Okay, that's a million trillion pound note. Huh? A thousand million trillion pound note. One pound note on your head. That's your bill, John Key. That's your bill, and the fiat money is calculated in that too. 2,000 plus percent that you've knocked up out of thin air is in that bill too. Plus all the stolen land, all the stolen resources, and the money to fix up all your desecration of our lands, including taking all our memorials off the land. The same as Dakota is going to get a bill. Those police, those all those UN forces are going to get the bill out of the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. You get a bill too. All the indigenous countries are under this authority of King William the Fourth Admiralty jurisdiction and authority inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. So all the Crown corporations are going to get a bill from that and that Tomata Fakamini title of Captain Clinton. Right through the world. Okay, you got that? So that's my lot for now. I'm just going to pack up here and finish with what I'm going to take down the coast then be on my way tomorrow morning. So King, I hope you um, get well before Saturday and if necessary I'll take you up to that meeting. Um, you in a minute, uh, just to let you know that I'll pick you up and take you up there, so that you get there, and look after you. Okay? I saw you this, this afternoon, after my physio lesson. I've still got to go there for another, at least another 12 weeks to fix up everything, so that I'm spot on when I get to fly out. Not that my health will be much better. Okay? Thank you very much, people. We'll see you later. Bye for now.